Let us use the Jira REST API to add a user to a group and also remove a user from a group. Now, if you refer to this page, this documentation, and if you search for something like, uh, not here, add user to a group, you will find this uh, documentation, basically this section here. And um, we basically need to know a few things like, of course, the endpoint. The endpoint is uh, REST API 3 group user. And uh, the method is post. So when you have to add user to a group, you have to add the post method. And uh, when you are basically adding something, you have to uh, know uh, what body, uh, I mean, what you need to pass in the body. So if you look at the, if you look at some of the examples here, like uh, the good thing about this documentation is that you have examples for different uh, technologies. So if you want to use curl, like maybe if you want to quickly do something from the command prompt or uh, your shell script or maybe from terminal, you can copy and paste, it will work. Or in case you are doing something with Node.js, you can uh, take a look at the body here. So basically, if you look here, um, you can basically see here that we have to specify the account ID and the account ID of the person that you're trying to add to a group. So you can take a look at different examples like PHP or Forge. Good thing is that Atlassian has already and has started uh, uh, including the examples for Forge, which is good. So we have to specify the account ID and that is the main thing. And uh, when you're using the endpoint, you basically have to use, uh, uh, I mean, you have to specify the endpoint. The, the endpoint is of course a group user, but you have to pass in the group name. Now, what I normally do, whenever I have to do something with uh, REST API, I try to use uh, Talent API Tester for doing some quick test. And for adding user to a group, I'm using uh, the, the post method. I'm also using the exact endpoint like REST API group user, and then I'm passing the group name. Now this group name is uh, something that I have here in my, if I look at my Jira instance, it says uh, Jira developers. This is something that I just created for testing. And right now we have use like no one, zero group members. Now what I want to do, I want to basically pass in my account ID. So this is of course uh, uh, something that you need to know. And if you click on the send button, it will uh, do something and you will get some response. So the response is uh, 201. And uh, you can see here that, uh, that there is no error. And if you go back to your uh, page, your uh, group page, group listing page, you can see hopefully the new group member added. This is all good, it works great. What if you want to remove the user from the group, from a group? So if you continue searching on the page, remove user from a group, you will find uh, one more example here. And uh, the method is delete. And it is not very difficult. You have to basically change the method. And if you look at the examples, I always uh, try to look at the example so it is clear and it, it makes sense. So basically, you have to specify the group name as uh, the first parameter. Uh, and the second parameter should be the uh, uh, the account ID. And that is it. So there is no body involved. Uh, so if, if you go back to Talent API, I can uh, show you one more example here. So the example was remove user from a group. And if you look at this example, I am definitely doing the same thing. I'm using the group name is equal to Jira developers. And then I'm passing the account ID equal to whatever account ID have I, I, I have. If I, if I click on the send button, it will uh, do something. It will uh, give you the response, 200 response. And if I go back to the administration page of my group, and if I do a refresh, hopefully it will be uh, removed. The, the user will be removed from the group. So this is of course a very simple thing to do. And uh, I created this video because a few people were asking me how to do it using REST API. And now we know how to do it, do it using REST API. We have a working example. We can then of course uh, do the same thing, maybe using a script now for Jira. So if we get a chance, maybe in, in uh, future we'll, we'll try this. And uh, the last video, or I think, uh, I, th I think in the last few videos, uh, 
you know, I made on uh, Scriptura for Jira on Cloud. I try to combine a couple of examples because when you know how to do these simple things, you can uh, do wonderful big things. So I hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new today. Thank you very much.